Baz Luhrmann just might be a filmmaking wizard. Now to be honest, I've only ever seen two of his films, the first being The Great Gatsby, the second being Elvis. Oh boy Elvis, never before had a movie trailer brought me to tears, but Elvis did. My excitement for this movie was through the roof. But could this movie really live up to my hype and expectations? Oh yeah. Yeah, it did. Elvis is a gorgeous film. As soon as the movie begins, the audience is swept away in a dazzling picture of color moving vibrantly across the screen. The audience is quickly shown some real human emotion and conflict that just stirs you inside. You see the cruelty of the world while also seeing the passion behind Elvis. The script brilliantly meshes Elvis's life together with interlocking time periods and overlapping songs. The energy of this film keeps it moving forward without a hitch, but the film still finds time to stop and deal with our character's emotions. Austin Butler and Tom Hanks give Oscar-worthy acting performances, and Olivia Dijon gives one of the sweetest and most emotionally convincing performances that I've seen from a leading lady in recent memory. Without Olivia's character of Priscilla, many of Elvis's best scenes would be non-existent. And that's not to say that Austin Butler doesn't shine on his own, as his show performances were electrifying. Butler really sold the fact that Elvis was probably the most passionate man to ever live when it came to music and his shows. The fast jerky movements, the dripping sweat, the intense facial expressions, and the fire burning in Elvis's eyes all sold the fact that Elvis was a passionate, over-the-top rock and roll genius. I can't tell you how incredible it was to watch this film unfold. Not knowing a lot about Colonel Tom Parker or Elvis's life made for some very suspenseful scenes and unbelievable plot twists. And I have to state how good this movie looks. The way the filmmakers move the camera in this movie is just so full of life. I don't remember there being a single shot in this film where the camera wasn't moving at least a little bit. In fact, Warner Bros. filmmakers have been killing it with the visuals lately. Recently, we've had The Suicide Squad, Dune, The Batman, and for as generic as the story of The Matrix Resurrections was, the visuals still looked great. Even The Secrets of Dumbledore had more stylistically consistent look than the most recent movies, even from David Yates himself. But Elvis tops them all in visual style. Save for maybe the Batman? Everything about Elvis, the visuals, the story, the script, the dialogue, the emotion, the acting, and the directing, and especially the way the music is woven into the film, all add up to what is the best film of 2022 so far. I give Elvis a 94%.